Okay, so now I'm back at the front step and I'm repairing that hole that I had in the cement that was going down in there. I put that tape on there. Um, I used Ultima. And it seems to be pretty good. We had a major storm last night. Lots of rain, tornado warnings, and things like that. So it didn't, it's, it's good, but it's not completely dry like it probably would be. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put another coat of Ultima on there, but I'm gonna be closer to the step. And, um, and then there's like some that's like coming on the sidewalk that's kind of draining down but that's okay I'm gonna eventually just cut that off and then um, and it looks kind of you know so so right now but I think <clears throat> it's not done yet so after this completely dries and I see that it's doing pretty good I'll either paint it or I might go get some tar yet put that on there because yeah. the tar I could put the tar around this whole step area where it, it, where it kind of fell off after all these years anyways. Wouldn't be a bad idea. But the main thing is I'm just going to put some more of a coat on here. At least for now. So there it is. It looks like this. And it, look, it doesn't look typical. But there's a hole. There's a hole. I'm just going to put it like along here. And then... Um, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to want anybody walking up to my step and looking at this. Yeah. So, this is not going to be the end result at all. This stuff is really, really good stuff. So I just want to, like, cake it on there. I suppose it would have been a lot easier for me just to go with the tar route. But since I have this... Gonna go. I want it to be thick down here at the base, right here, real thick. I haven't seen the chipmunk, so I think the chipmunk is going. If its home is down there, it's got a different way of going in and out, and otherwise it has to make it a different home somewhere else. So, Let's see how thick I'm putting that on there. I'm going to slap it on. And, um, I mean, this stuff here, I think if anybody has a, a leak on anything, this is the way to go. This stuff here is all in the next video, I'm going to be going back to my roof, and you're going to, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that. Right now, see how it's like seeping forward again. I just want to, I want it to go. It must have a, a decline right there. I just want it to all be pushed up this way. water just doesn't go in. So, this would be interesting. I might have to come back out and just push it back as later on again. So. Yeah, and then I'm just going to like cut this all out. i do that right now actually. probably take a couple days to dry and then next weekend <coughs> I'll go ahead and do the next things that I probably want to do with this. So, you can see it's moving this direction.
So I think as it settles, I'll just come out here a few times during the day, push it back, and then I'm sure it'll settle where I want it to settle. Um, this afternoon. Look at this brush. Right? It doesn't take much, but I use this on the shed roof too. So it got some use. Okay. So we'll come back to this. I promise you it'll look really, really good when I finally get done with it. And then as you can see, like right here, it all <clears throat> kind of came off. So it wouldn't be a bad idea right here's a crack. If I actually did get some tar and go in here and then go here, and then that will just be like a, reinfor a reinforcement right there at the end of the day. So, okay, till next time.